Welcome to the Cynthia Nyamai Show. We are still celebrating women and we could do this the whole year. Our guest today is going to teach us something simple about love. People say that women are so emotional and so on, but you know what? The first step to happiness is falling in love with yourself. Let's find out more about our guest. Naomi Wamboi Nganga is a Kenyan actress and entrepreneur. Her acting career started when she landed a role on Wash and Set that transitioned to jobs on other movies, series and plays like Fundamentals, Demigods, News of Gold among others. Today she wears many hats including running a fashion brand for plus size women which celebrates women of different sizes. Thank you so much, Naomi Nganga, for joining us today. Hello. And you always make me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Asante, thank you. <laughs> and today I'm so happy that yes. Sasa Atanta could draw up close and personal. Kabisa. Let me start with where did you um, grow up? Which part? I know it was Nairobi. Yes. Which part of Nairobi did you grow up in? All right. So I was brought up in Huruma. It was at the Islands mm -hmm. by my mom. Uh, and then after a while, when I was around 13 years, she left us and I was left with my brothers. She left you in terms of, she passed She on. passed on, yes. Mm -hmm. So I was, left, I was left with my brothers. It was quite a struggle. Mm -hmm. uh, slums and you don't have a mom mm -hmm. and you're still in school. So trying to figure out life at that time was like, very, very tricky. Mm -hmm. So after a while, I, I moved and I started living by myself at the age of 17. 17. I started paying my rent at the age of 17, yes. Paying rent at yes, 17. At 17. Let, me, <laughs> let me take you back a little yes. bit. How was it for a 13-year-old without her mother? It was quite difficult. Mm -hmm. And also imagining you're, you are with boys, yes. because we, are, we, we were a family of seven boys, one girl. Mm -hmm. But most of uh, my brothers were all grown up, married, so the only brothers that we were left with were young, sir, were young. Uh, in terms of, okay, me and I'm, I'm the last born, yeah. but also they were, they were teenagers at that time. Mm -hmm. So it was difficult because now there is no mother figure. Yes. And maybe even being the youngest girl, now yes. you're expected to take care of them. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So it was difficult. I love your ghetto the way there's, there's no motivation in ghetto. Every yeah. time you walk up, there are crimes. Women, uh, women are giving birth, as in, hakuna mwelekeo. So it was quite difficult. And yeah. that, so at that time, mm -hmm. uh, Nika joined theater, Nika joined. Yeah. Uh, acting, yeah, theater. Yeah. So I had created friends yeah. at that time. Mm -hmm. And so I could see the life they were living. So yeah. that's what kept motivating me. And that's so I really wanted to get out of that ghetto. Yeah. And that's when I moved out at the age of 17. And with the small money, the promotions, the yeah. theater acting, yeah. I, I started staying alone. Now, at, at that age, did you still have this sense of humor and because you walked into this place, yeah. everyone just started laughing. Oh. After we had to come and tell you, everyone was laughing Poleni. around you. <laughs> uh, I think, yeah, I got, my mom played a very big role, especially when I, before she passed on, in installing confidence yeah. and just, I was her queen, like I was her everything. Yeah. She, her plan was to have two boys, but she had to give seven boys to get this girl. Yeah. So you can imagine wow. by the time Nakuja, yeah. the excitement yeah. and yeah. so I was her everything. And I think that's where I even got my confidence from because she kept on telling me how beautiful, how amazing I am, yeah. spoiling me yeah. here and there. So I, I had that aura even, Nikua Uko two slums. So they used to call me like a name called Kamzungu. Kamzungu is Kamzungu. <laughs> So yeah, so I still had it. Yeah. I was vibrant. I was a happy child. I was really a happy child. Yeah. Yes. So age 17, Kamzungu Akahama. Kamzungu Akahama, <laughs> Sasa. <laughs> Maisha Kakagonga. <laughs> <laughs> una imagine una uko 17 una hasol una hasol kulipare na your time yeah. rent quite very expensive yeah. i remember that my first house was like 600 shillings what is 600 uh, <laughs> <laughs> who got <laughs> dandora and yeah. i moved from huruma yeah. so you places in yeah. so unangalia tu neighborhood zako yeah. and where you can afford yeah. so i went I, I moved to dandora mm. and that's where i used to stay yeah. so i used to juggle to jobs up as a safari kuza kadi nini mm. airtime kadi mm acting here and there, I love Nalipa Rentuko. Yeah, yeah. So I survived there until the 20, 20 years. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And then I, I met friends, I was introduced to other jobs and mm -hmm. yeah, I moved out. Which other jobs were you introduced to? So, it's a chain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
so I've worked with Deacons. Uh, I, I, I used to be a sales as, uh, fashion assistant yeah. at Deacons yeah. at that time. I also have worked with uh, DSTV, yes. like in a Go TV, yeah. like just a sales representative. Uh, yes. So when you go get I mean, like a hustler. Because you can't get life. You get to the same. Hey, Rudy. Nini liko na kumotivate even for a 17 year old yes. to go out, look for a job, move out. Nini liko na kupushing na kumotivate sana hivyo. So like, how uh, marafiki liko na wao? So I was lucky to have how marafiki at that time. So I was invited to go to wao. Uh, uku makili mani malangata or time, eh, no, na kuna, kumbe, kuna life poa, kuna, yeah. kuna tuanaishi vizuri, kuna tuana drive, nini. So I really wanted that life. Yeah. Iyo nilikuwa ngatuku inastiku wa kichwa yangu. So hata nikotuna uza, tunafanya nga nini, ndo uishi hivi. So yeah. I really, that's the drive I used to get that time, just to get out of that life, yeah. ya ghetto, yeah. and just have a good life that, no, na watu ngini wa kishu kuinje. Yeah. And when did you discover you can act? I remember uh, when I was in high school, there used to be a drama club, but I was never part of it. So kuna siku, one of the members wa drama club mm. and so they had to replace someone and because we looked alike wakaniita na siku act before ever so I, I went there so I went uh, I was taken through a few classes of acting kidogo too and then after kufanya your role I emerged, I emerged to be the best in that competition, that drama competition, I was awarded a certificate. So, when I was like, hey, Kumbe, there's a week. I'm a gift. I think you can act before that. I'm a kid, 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 i am so then kana fanya hizo jobs ngine kwa nakwambia and then there's a time a friend of mine akanambia anaenda auditions uh, Kenya National Theater so akanambia nimpeleke so kumpela Kenya National Theater so miss make up nje na goja aingie so akaingia akatoka but akitoka akatoka na director eh akauliza we akanuzo me audition kambia pana mimi sija kuja ku audition nimekuja kulete rafiki yangu audition akanambia no 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 we try ingie u try nikambia pana mimi hizi hizi acting music for young I'm a you try. So I can get try and I got the role and my pal didn't get the role. Yeah, it was sad, but yeah. And but, and even as you were taking her, mm. uh, you, you were taking your friend for that role. What had you planned for your life? Ulko mepanga nini? Ulko mepanga utenda sasa college? Ama karia gani? Nikona nikona fakwenda college, but me no ulko na fanya gatuzi job zingine tu. Ulko mepanga kusome nini? Hey, nili tanga tanga. At first, I was air hostess. I was a air hostess. I was a So, I was a hotel management. I was a hotel management. I was a hotel management. I was a hotel I was so confused. Yeah. <laughs> tour guide. So I tried different courses yeah. that time, but acting kakuje kakachap. Nikama, it's the way people say this career found me. Acting yes, actually found acting you. found me. Yeah, or yes. acting called me. Yes, yes, it, yes. It, it did. Alafu, did you eventually decide like, this is my career? So I did PR, I did international PR. Yes. You know, Limaliza and Kafanya diploma. Mm -hmm. that, but Sabado, acting zikuwa zinaendelea yeah. kukuja. So Limaliza too for, for the SAT. Kwa tu na yoka paper. Ni fresh baba yangu at that time. Uh, yeah, story uh, ishe. Uh, yeah. Uh. And then when did you start uh, the big screen and asking you on TV? Which was your first show? Nikifanyezo uh, plays at theater. Kulikuwa na mini breaks in between. Izo nikuwa na kifanyezo jobs ingine. So there was this time tumevutua job moja. So tukota au. We are figuring out kuja tunenda kwa apply kupeleka CV place ingine. So we were up on the nation center in je to be clear CV zetu. So I, I was with my pal, another pal, sio huyo. Mm. So kama nimesimama hapo nje, there's a guy who came. Akan akaniuliza, "Eh, una una acting kwa TV?" Nikamwambia, "Hapana." Tumwa akamwambia, "Mimi sijai, sijai act kwa TV but mu act plays the theater." Akiwe ni tafuta, by the way, tafuta. So nikamwambia, "Hapana, yes, mu act once in a while lakini mu act hizo hizo set book za theater." Yeah. Akanambia, mm. "Unaweza ni alone kuchukua picha yako?" Alafu ndakupigia simu next week nika nikamwambia, "Hapana, nyinyi wale makonman yeah. mtakuwa nipeleka kwa madevo worship huko." <laughs> Unipigi picha yako. <laughs> so nikakataa. So 
akanibembeleza but akitukiongea a friend of mine huo best yangu akakuja alikuwa best step aside sikumki kufanya nini akaanza nini nikamwambia ni mtu anaisis kuchukua picha yangu na mimi sijui anaipeleka wapi akauliza mtu wewe ni nani akasema mimi ni producer wa NTV na nataka tu kuchukua picha yake nikoneshe wadosi wangu alafu kama kuna opportunity tutawapigia simu akaniambia una lose nini wewe pigwa picha so nikapigwa huyo mtu akanipiga picha na akaenda so kutembea tu hapo after kutoka nation set kwanza kutembea tukieleza side za audio tukienda kutafuta mat then my phone was grabbed that's to make exchange number no umu yeah. anyway so tukasikia tu vibaya so hiyo time kupata phone ilikuwa hard sana so two weeks i didn't have a phone bado una changa changa yeah. ubai simu so when i got a new phone the first person who called me yeah. that guy akwambia vile amekutafuta akanambia vile amenitafuta akanambia ni umechaguliwa kuna role mpya ume, umepata ya ntv program na jitawasha set and you'll be a main role. Mm. So tuambie una utalipishaje? Hata ukaje unaweza upgrade simu hata sasa. Hata sasa sijui utalipishangaje kwa kwa TV ni kama nyimata kunilipaje nyimu nalipanga watu aje. So nikamwambia pesa ngina pause day skia. So that's how. Kasema tu yes. Nikasema tu yes yes yes. So hapo nikaanza nga ocean set. Yeah and we shot like almost we 20 seasons with that 15 seasons wow. yeah so from there to kazis kanza to uh, na wash and set it, it was you know in it, 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 okay it's acting but it's a bit different in front of cameras Ka, yes. and so on how was you in kwaje eh ilikuwa challenging mimi ongea sana so na nimetoka theater sasa jua theater una shout jua audience mwenye kwa huko mwisho akusikia so ni kwa camera mimi niko na ongea na hata mambo yako na mic ongea nilikuwa naongea sana alafu na move yani ilikuwa challenging but maybe tulikuwa director mzuri Mary Megwe mwenye at least alikuwa jaribu kunimold but now my character ilikuwa so nili blend in easily kwa sababu ilikuwa about a ghetto girl mwenye ngitoka kwa salon eh so hizi ni vitu mimi nimeishi kwa na ghetto huko kwetu huruma hizo zilikuwa sana na baka ilifika point wa director kaniambia sasa wewe utakupata nga tu outline wewe tu do venye Ah, una duli uko kwenye. Yeah. Yes. Leo tu ni natural. Ni very mean natural mdomo tu. <laughs> And you've been quite successful. I want us to talk a little bit about that because mm-hmm. after that kuna ma impress na mimi nilikuwa fan wako oh, number one kabisa. Thank you. <laughs> And we'll talk about also the other roles yes. that you've had. That and mom coming up shortly. Welcome back to the Cynthia Nyamai show. Now I was talking to Naomi Nganga who was telling us about her life, how she got into acting and just what some of the roles that you've had. Yeah. So you're even told, you know what? Go ahead. We'll just tell give you an outline and you know how to play the character very well. So yeah. clearly for you acting is a natural. After yeah. Wash and Set, nini likuja next? Eh, zilikuja mingi. So I did I did Demigods. I did uh, Sumula Penzi, I did Shattered, a, a collaboration of Kenyan and Nigerian film. Yes. Hey, as wezi kuja zote offered. Yeah, there were quite a number. That's a good thing to say about your career. Yes. Uh, and I've noticed yes. that um, sometimes the character you play changes. Yes. Which is quite interesting mm-hmm. because sometimes I'm waiting to see this go lucky fun girl mm-hmm. eh ule hata atatuambia the latest story le naendelea kwa mta mm-hmm. but sometimes you're a bit more yes. um serious Intense. how are you able to change um the roles until we be, we actually believe mm-hmm. this new role and character that you have so you know you acting and as an actor you have to have diversity mm-hmm. so th- that you can be able to fit in different roles yeah, yeah cuz i remember like demigod it was a very intense role for me yes. i was a mother of two daughters who were being raped by their dad mm-hmm. and i really had to go that emotional journey all through the, all through that series mm-hmm. so you diversify and how do you get into that character and into that role as w- w- what i do with qu- uh, most of my roles i try live within the life of that role i i try and cuz most most of the roles in acting it's, it's things that are happening around us if it's a thief it's someone you 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 you've seen or you've you've seen or you've come across uh Uh, all the time if it's a it's a witch you know how the idea of a witch so i try and fit in from what i see and from what i know to fit in that character and behave how how i see them and just connect with them emotionally in that character mm. 
Yeah. Mm. And have you been looking also to know, I know there's one where it was in collaboration in with Nigeria. Yes. Are you also looking for more international Oh, hosts? yes. Oh, yes. Let them come. Let them come. Yes. yes. But the only challenge I get with international uh, films, uh, especially when I go for auditions, what is my Sikai? Sikai, Africa kabisa. Authentic, authentic, authentic <laughs> African kabisa. Usually the, yeah, exactly. the English films, yes. I don't fit in those roles because yeah. you know they are looking for that Melanie, they look that look African yeah. Melanin structure. Yeah, so yeah. I tend to miss them a lot. Yeah. But maybe when it comes to West Africa, I fit in yeah. quite well. Uh, yeah. yeah. But you're multi talented because you're also a businesswoman. Yes. Um, apart from just um, acting. Yes. And one thing I like about your business, mm -hmm. it's for curvy women yes. um, like me. Yes. And you've made us accept ourselves mm. um, as curvy women. Yes. That the right size is not just that small size. Mm -hmm. How did you come up with that uh, business idea? With the business idea? Mm. So when I was getting into the film industry, uh, it was quite a challenge to see a big woman in the film industry. Because yes. that time, the ideal beauty from the society was, you know, of course, the slim girls. Yes. Yeah, so it was, so for you to be put in a main role as a plus size woman was quite a challenge. Yes. But you are Mimi Akere, na confidence yangu, and the talent, of course. Yes. Uh, I managed to get a few roles, and it encouraged a lot of women. When women were uh, kwa screen, kwa commercials were like, eh, okay, so even a big girl can, can do this. So a lot of women started reaching out to me. I mean, how do I get, how do I get film? How do I get this? How do I look confident? How do I, you know, just be like you? And so I created a movement at that time out of those uh, messages of women telling me their story, how they are struggling with their body weights, how they are struggling with their insecurities. But I remember there's a time also I wanted to shop for, there, there was a red carpet event and I, I was looking for a dress and that time I me fashion sense yangu likuwa juu. So kuna watu nikuwa nadmeanga, una kina Beyonce, ukuwa kina nani, una zile nguwa nava, because at that time I'm young. But my kinangale mwili mini mkuba, but niko young, niko around 23, 24, so I still want to look sassy, trendy. So there's a time I went to, to look for clothes. Nikazunguka town mzima sikupata. Then someone akanambia nakumata that time wana uzanga nguo. So when I went to nakumata ko nikauliza kama wako na nguo za plus size wananipeleka maternity side. Unapeleka kwa kuna ma night dress because that type perception go too kubwa ya yote too ugly ni ya ni ya ni ya ni ya plus size. So I was so discouraged. So I ended up going to that red carpet not so so confident. Yeah. So I got I got discouraged. So I kaza kufikiria naweza patanga wapi zinguo za plus but because I have inspirations where can I find these clothes? So ni kaza ku try push on at that time napelekea mafundi but bado wanielewi ukienda kupema nguo unapata maajabu zingine hujaiona. So I took it upon me nikasema how can I create a line that fits for women like me because I know we are, we are a lot of us that are that are suffering. So no, I took for research yangu hapa na pale, speaking to different designers, how they do it, how they started. And so I gathered quite an information on Nikanza, Nikanza fashion in Yangu. I started very small. See, kwa napeta that time, very, very small. I remember I had 30,000. So I walked around town, nikatafta kaduka, around 15K, nilikuwa na mpesa, nikalipa tu. Na siyo atasina machine, sina nini. Kwa tu nikuwa umejia. Ah, mini kwa usha jiamini. Nikalipa machine. Duka, one month later, nikabai machine. So I got a tailor. I got a tailor. So I was my first client actually. So I can go to tailor for like three months. And I should have got a tailor. So every time I was on Google, I was like, hey, now we will put up. Hey, where did you get this? So I was like, I'm going to get this. So I was like, now let me introduce this line style by Naomi. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Business expansion, are you thinking of maybe doing something else apart from just uh, fashion? So for me, for me um, I want to create a business that caters for the plus size women, all rounded, talk of hair, everything, one stop shop for plus size women. And I want to make sure that it's serving the whole of Africa. I want to have franchises all over Africa. Yes. You see the way you walk into Akina Zara, Akina Nani, I want to have a style by Naomi all over Africa. Wow. Yes, wow. yes. And as I mentioned before, you really market your business online. Thank Even you. when you're acting and everything. Yes. But kuna saidi yako moja sijae yona. Dating life yako. Tuambia? Dating life. Niko na Yesu? Yesu yu wameshikilia. Mtu wakikuja. Hata sijae yona ukeka hiyo picha. Sasa stories are Yesu. Naikana. Naikana tukotes. Naikana tukotes. Wansita wansita. 
but mtu akikuja si uh-huh. hii ndio sign ya nini lakini na dating yeah. sasa how ka, who's the man in your life i just so tawana ring tu ikikuja we are talking like we've known each other for 10 years i know but the reason why it's so easy to connect with you is because you openly share your life yeah. uh, your ups your down yes. moments um and you're openly uh, giving people live an advice yes. and and telling us as women yes. uh you know you can do it push on and yes. so on yes. as we are closing the show yes. and this month we are celebrating uh women yes. what advice do you have for them I'll still go back to my plus size women and I believe when you're confident you can con- you can conquer anything. Let me tell you when you, when you have a lot of insecurity, your career is affected, your family is a, is affected. That's true. Your everything is affected around you. People may not see it, but when when you when you don't believe in yourself, when you don't love yourself, when you don't feel like you're the best version of yourself, it's so hard to achieve a lot of things because you'll always pull yourself down. There's something that will always be pulling yourself down. So for me is kwanza jipende ujipende the way you are i tell women sikwambi usikonde you you can lose weight if you want to do lose weight if you want to go do your life you can go ahead but where you are right now love who you are and you have better strength to celebrate more than body size beyond body size That's true. you know and this body is not going to change overnight utaamka kesho kwa sentence ya mwingine so jipende appreciate yourself look at others the great thing that you've done with your life celebrate those things let them motivate you to even do better as you work on your body goals but don't let your body body weight take on take away all your life yes. yeah. yeah don't let it take away all your life a lot of women are dying as they hate themselves as they as they don't achieve their goals because they are really focusing on their bodies hating themselves to an extent we're going to commit suicide just because they don't love themselves anymore so for me it's just to encourage women to love themselves pass the love to your daughters because I, I, i had a discussion the other day about bringing strong women bringing confident women it's all, it's all starts in the roots okay angela cynthia if your mother never told you you're beautiful or encouraged you or even had time to to mold you as a woman uki grow up unapata ngabo issues are catching up with you and then if they catch up with cynthia that means cynthia will pass it to her daughter so we create a generation of not so confident women so i must like international women day my message is let's let's start building confidence of our daughters from a very young age from a very young from their womb actually start speaking to them affirmations of confidence affirmations of love and once they are out peer continue with that message and you'll be uh, uh, bringing up a confident and a strong woman who will pass it to another woman yes, yes. yes. Yeah. thank you so much Karibu. for joining us i know your nickname was mzungu but me takuta mzungu <laughs> wise <laughs> <laughs> You've given us a lot of wisdom. And one of the things I picked up from this conversation, it sounds really simple, but it's profound. Love yourself. And she's a stranger. I've never met her before, but I used to love her, respect her. Why? She taught me how to love her and respect her. See you next week.